Hello there friends and welcome back to another beautiful blue sky Monday here on the island of Larkshire. Wait a minute. Did I just say Monday? This is not a Monday show. Hold on a second. Okay guys, well I just checked it out and turns out we're playing Larkshire every day this week. Woo! <laughs> Yay! Okay, well in that case, let's get going because we got a lot to do. Yeah, so turns out we're, we're taking a break from our retro Animal Crossing this week. So we're just going to be playing Larkshire every day this week, I decided. So how's that? Okay, we have a ton of little jobs to do today. We're not going to get anything big done. We're just going to be running back and forth and up and down and doing all the little things. Okay, guys, and we'll start out by checking out our pocket space, which is full of stuff, <laughs> as usual. All right, we have a message bottle from Cap'n's Island. Let's see what Gala sent for us. Some spaghetti marinara. That sounds delicious. This is one of my favorite meals. Good old spaghetti. Okay, we did find this lost item earlier and I ran into Francine in the museum while I was collecting our plaques for the day, which we need to go put in our house. And she told us that this book belongs to our newest resident, Midge. So we are gonna have to find Midge and return this book to her. Also guys, look at behind me. After the live stream on Wednesday, it was raining here on the island. I did one one fishing i <laughs> i fished one time and look at what i caught a coelacanth so we have that we have a violin beetle we have a sea urchin we have stuff to give to blathers today have we caught one of those i don't even know we need to really probably check our may list and see what we're missing hey look there's another new one a great purple emperor okay let's put it on the pile we will give these two blathers a little bit later. That is on our list to get done today. Uh, the 99,000 bells that's in my pocket, I am gonna keep there. Oh, Kiki, what's going on, girl? Guess what? I've got something here for you, Wonderbud. Oh boy, what is it? I thought maybe you could use some round frame glasses. Well, uh, that was a nice thought. You were wrong, but that was a nice thought. <laughs> okay, Pashmina's gonna sing a little bit. All right, we're gonna go put our plaques away so that we have that pocket space available. There's Midge, let's say hi. Hi Midge. Good afternoon, bruh. Not you already? What? <laughs> She's been on the island like two days. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Did you drop something? It's a lost item. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, you found my lost journal. I didn't think I'd see this again. I feel like I owe you big time. Thank you. I thought you might like to have a moss ball. Oh yeah, we would love that. Thank you so much. All right, we're gonna go put our plaques up on the wall with all our other ones. There's actually been a fun little side effect of collecting these every day and putting them on the wall. And that is that the Happy Home Academy has been sending us uh, some gifts because we made it up to 30,000 points <laughs> for our decorating. And then we made it to, uh-oh. Well, we'll have to get that one back out of storage. And then we made it to 50,000 points. So they actually sent us a silver plaque and then a gold plaque. Uh, which we have hanging up in the room upstairs and I'll try to remember to show you because I just thought that was hilariously funny that I'm collecting all these plaques and <laughs> we've actually benefited from it from that little bit of time it takes every day to go in here and or to go in the museum uh, and run around and get those stamps. I Doesn't that look cool though? Tell me that doesn't look cool. <laughs> all right, let's go. But yeah, here we go. We got all the colors of the plaques now. If we keep this up, we might even get 
one or two of the little house trophy models, which would be super cool as well. Oh, here's some other bugs we have. I think those we've probably all donated. What are they? It's a dragonfly, a citrus beetle. You know what? Let's just put them in our pocket anyway, because um, I have no idea <laughs> if we've donated them. Francine! It does seem like I'm seeing a lot of you lately, doesn't it? Oh yeah, we saw her in the muse museum, and I already gave her her clam for the day. Do my eyes deceive me, or are you in possession of a citrus longhorn beetle? It's a little gauche for me to even ask, but would you consider selling it, say for 525 bells? Sure. I'm pretty sure we've donated one of those. I mean, if you want a bug, have a bug, Francine. <laughs> Who am I to stop you? We'll take your bells. I'll take excellent care of it. I'm sure you will. Okay, so let's grab the rest of these and go talk to Blathers. I don't know why I was diving. How'd I catch a sea urchin? I was probably trying to get nook miles or something for, uh, for our villager hunt the other day. Blathers, wake up! We got something extraordinary for you. Alright, see how many of these. So the anemone he already had, and yeah, those other- Oh, he already had the man-faced stink bug too? For some reason I thought we hadn't caught one of those yet. Alright, well, four things. Four things. Alright. Thank you, Blathers. We're just gonna go take a little look at our deep sea friend because it's fun to see our fish in the museum. This is our last week to catch the May fish. Can you believe it's the end of May already, guys? That's crazy. There he is. Creepy. <laughs> Why do they all move so slow down there? All right, out of here. Oh yeah, one of our stamps was down there today. Well, there we go. That's a couple things marked off our list. We do have a few more though. And one of them is to start cleaning up our next acre here. Which one are we on? Acre 10, I think. This is 10. Let's just count and make sure. So we went up the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, Caroline's acre was nine. So this is acre 10. And as you can see, it's where our little um, marker is there where we're standing. It's got a river through it. So since we're not terraforming, we've got a river to work around. <laughs> so we're going to actually go look and see what that acre is going to hold today, but first we're going to get it cleaned up because we need to get it cleaned up. And I did decide that no terraforming also means not moving the rocks, if at all possible. So they're just going to stay where they're at. And if you're wondering what all this stuff is laying around here, well, we had a, a fun time on Thursday visiting Nana A on her live stream. If you haven't checked out Nana A's Gaming, you'll definitely want to do that. She's over there playing Animal Crossing. She's got a 30-day challenge going on. She does live streams a few days a week. And she's also playing Stardew Valley. So, fun stuff. Wait a second. What did we just put in our pocket? Um, you definitely want to go give her a visit. Okay, we're going to put this stuff in storage. I thought <laughs> that maybe I had an extra storage shed that I, I think I picked one up over there but yeah she just she has an island that she's restarting and she was just uh, getting rid of stuff opened up the gates and said everybody come and get what you want so we got some nice stuff for decorating the island let me just run in here and sell these bugs and stuff to Nook to Nook to Timmy and Tommy Okay, and I don't know if I mentioned it, but I'll have that link for Nana A's Gaming in the description. Let's talk to Pashmina. 
Hey there, Reverb. Was hoping I'd see you. We gave somebody a new catchphrase or something over the last couple days. So maybe we'll run into that today. Ah, oh, this weather rocks. I kind of want to just lay out and enjoy the weather, dear. It is a nice day. Someone's feeling chatty. Uh, we are going to be talking to Tom Nook at some point, though, because we need a bridge. I took out the bridge that was over there in Acre 10. A mod wall, thank you. Um, because it was just, it was like that log bridge, the first one you build when you get to the island, and that was definitely not fitting our vibe. So much to see, even when you're just out for a walk, bruh. <laughs> All right, why don't you take this giant clam in your cute little spray outfit? She looks so adorable in that. So we are gonna have to talk to Tom Nook and pick out a bridge today. I want you to have my bunny nose. Okay, that is too funny because when I gave Francine her giant clam in the museum earlier, she gave us a dog nose. Now we got a bunny nose. I don't know what the noses are about all of a sudden. <laughs> we'll talk to Lucky, but we can't give him anything right now. Here, fishy, 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 come out of the water so I can taste you. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, Mary's in her house right now. We'll drop in and see her, too. Because visiting villagers also on our list today. No way! I was totally just thinking I wish I could talk to Wonderbud right now. Well, let's talk. Did I hear your friend's name is Demo, and they're from Aussie Oi? Wow, I know it's a mondo pain to get here, but it'd be fab if they visited again. All right, this is going to be a shout out day. Let's. Uh, she's talking about Demo's gaming down under. Another one that you need to check out, and I'll put that one in the description too. Aussie Oi, as the name may have suggested, <laughs> Demo is one of our Australian friends. Super fun. All right, ma'am, we have a clam for you. Here you are. We still have these chocolates in our pocket too, you guys. We still owe Caroline a vacation home. We are going to pick a new villager of the week. Oh, well, you know what? We usually do that on Saturday, don't we? And we skipped Saturday, so you know what? We're gonna we're gonna do it today. I feel kind of bad being the only one getting stuff here. Take a red intricate wall. Okay, it's the day of walls and noses, apparently. <laughs> I just think it's kind of funny. We were getting those jockey uniforms for a while, and so I gave us the side quest of collecting all the jockey uniforms, and then we haven't gotten one since. <laughs> That's all right, though. We have time. Hans, what you making, friend? Welcome to the house of Hans. What you doing? A crest door plate. Okay, the recipe came to me in a dream. We already know how to make that, dude. I guess it came to us in a dream, too. <laughs> yeah, you're going to give us the recipe anyway. Thank you very much. We'll pass that on. And here's a clam. A diner apron. Okay. Well, it wasn't a wall or a nose, so that's something. <laughs> okay, so interesting things because acre 10 is sitting here right between Hans's acre and Caroline's acre so we have to take those into consideration did I pick up the storage shed over there yes I did oh good <laughs> we'll be able to put the stuff in right here so I don't know if we're gonna have to move some trees probably the stump is gonna go we're gonna have to move these flowers I don't know, we're just going to clean up this acre so it's nice and clear. We got another fish there, and CJ's here, evidently, walking around with all our fish trophies. Coming at ya! This is weird, because I feel like CJ was just here, like, 
three days ago, maybe. Um, do you have a sea sports challenge? Yes. It's freestyle day five times in a row. Okay, we'll do it. Maybe. <laughs> we may and we may not. All right, so we did get some fun stuff here. This is more stuff from Nana A's island. Somewhere in here, there's a yacht. <laughs> yep, she had a yacht just laying there for free. And I thought that that might look super cool in Caroline's Acre, so I did pick that up. We got a lot of fun stuff, really. It is really going to help us out with our acre decorating. We're going to put that door plate away. We might as well put these walls away, too. So, really appreciate that. And we got a few Nook Miles tickets for our next villager hunt. Oh, and some Blossom Viewing Lanterns. Yes, that's right. Okay, we're going to put these over um, in the resting place, I think. Remember how we were looking for the right light source to put over there? I think that we're going to try those out. So let's put the other stuff away. Mush lamp, Nook Miles tickets, and we'll take these Blossom Viewing Lanterns over here and see if they will fit in somewhere. That is actually what I wanted for the area in the first place. But we were just having a time trying to get those cherry blossom recipes. So we never did get those. Um, oh, although now I kind of just really like that that we have in here. We need to move one of these flowers. Oh no, there goes our shovel. <laughs> oh no. Okay, well, maybe we can put a couple of these lanterns back here around the bench. Oh well, we're gonna have to customize that. No hot pink in this place. Uh, let me fill in that hole though. I might put that other lily here on the other side of the bench too, just to even that out. That looks kind of cute. Pretty, I should say. It's not cute. All right, so if we run by the workbench, we will try to customize those to the lighter pink, the pastel one. In the meantime, let's keep working on this acre. Oh yeah, we gotta go buy a shovel. So this marks the top edge of the acre and I double checked the map. These little marks are right inside the acre. So this is part of the square that we're working in. And same with these, these are part of our acre 10. So we actually need to, yeah, go get a shovel. We need to get a shovel. I thought I had some extra shovels sitting around somewhere, but I was looking for one the other day and I don't know where I put them, but it wasn't anywhere I could find it <laughs> easily. So I have to buy one. And it was the colorful shovel again, which is fine. But I always, I always secretly hope it's the flowery one when I go in there. I like the little flowery shovels. Sometimes I buy two of them when I'm in there. And if we have an extra shovel sitting around somewhere, it's probably the flowery one <laughs> because I'll usually buy an extra one. So when I break it, I can still have the pretty flowery one. So we do have a blue windflower now, which I had these over here to make blue windflowers because I want to make purple wind flowers and I think we had to get a blue one and maybe we need to crossbreed that with some red ones I have to look it up again I have it written down somewhere over here but if you guys could see my desk right now there's like 18 sticky notes just kind of all over the place <laughs> and a few index cards with stuff written on them I really need to go through this it's a hot mess Okay, I think that is it for cleaning up this side. Actually, we're going to go ahead and take this stump out. Cleaning up this side and then the rest of this acre. Oh, we're going to have to pole vault is right here. So that includes this little bit of the beach. Why don't we catch this fish while we're right here? for our sea sports challenge. Woo, red snapper, nice. I'll take that. All right, we need four more then. 
so there's a couple of trees here. And so we're going to have to put a bridge back into this acre somewhere. And it goes up, yeah, to right here. So we could put the bridge across this part, actually. There's a flat space there that we wouldn't have to do anything with. We'll have to see what we end up with and decide where the bridge will best go. So we may or may not take out those trees. It depends on what we end up with in this acre and what we need to put. But we have kind of a good sized little corner here with a little skinny bit. And then the other side is kind of the opposite with the skinny bit at the bottom and a big corner at the top. Did, didn't I just pick this up? Did this literally just wash up when we walked away? <laughs> so weird. All right, let's see if we can find four more fish and just get that sea sports challenge out of the way. Caroline, you're looking cool in your tie-dye. Glad to see ya. I'm about midway through Squat to Win. It's such a great book. All right, you get that one from Goose, did you? <laughs> How can I help you, bruh? Well, you can help us by taking this giant clam. It would be super cool if you had an extra jockey uniform laying around. A maid dress. Okay, well, not quite the same, but we'll take it. Thank you. We're going to have to go empty our pockets soon, aren't we? Because we have one space left. We're not going to be able to catch any more fish. All right, we better go do that now. What's even in our pockets? <laughs> oh, it's all those flowers. Okay, we can put those down somewhere. Um, oh, here's some red ones. I wonder if those are from seeds. They must be because uh, they were not native to this island. So if I have red ones here, they probably came from seeds. So let's go find a spot to put this blue one and then we can plant red ones all around it. So we can try to get some purple ones because purple windflowers are, you know, one of the best flowers in the game. <laughs> Plants. Okay, we'll put that one there and we'll put the white ones. We'll spread them out again over here so that maybe they'll spawn another blue one. Do we get rainy season in New Horizons? I know in our City Folk game we got a notice on the bulletin board that said rainy season is coming. But uh, they don't tell you that in this one. So, I guess it probably is. Where even is Nooks? Hello. <laughs> Pajmina, what are you thinking? Hey, you got a minute? I got into a dumb fight with Punchy. I don't even want to say what it was about. I want to make it up to him with this present I bought, but I don't know if he would want to see my face right now. I was thinking maybe you could give it to Punchy for me. We'll take care of it. Thanks, buddy. You're really helping me out here. I guess I should give you the thing, huh? Here you go. It's no problem, Pashmina. We are running errands today. We're tying up loose ends. We're doing all the little jobs. <laughs> so one more won't hurt. We were going to have to talk to Punchy at some point anyway. While we're right here by the workbench, let's check out if we can customize these blossom lanterns. I don't even know how many. Okay, we have 36 customization kits. That should be enough. We need the, pr the pretty pastel. Let's see, who else have we not talked to yet? We talked to Hans. We still need to give Lucky a giant clam. Oh, and Kiki. No, Kiki's right over there. <laughs> I'm trying to like think about where everybody's house is. Oh, Static. Okay, we haven't talked to Static. All right, Lantern's done. We can go put those where they need to go. Static's house is back here. I'm assuming he's home because I haven't seen him walking around anywhere. I'm guessing Punchy's probably at home too. I like your house, Static. Hey, Carolee, glad you could make it. Doesn't he look just like super chill right now? He's just walking through his house with like a cup of tea, wearing a Larkshire t-shirt. <laughs> he's just like 
living it up in here. The march of technology sure is something, ain't it? For instance, now there are robots that'll vacuum your place for you. But what, I ask, happens if you have a dirt floor? We don't all have fancy schmancy carpets or hardwood. The robot's job is to vacuum all the dirt, right? So on a dirt floor, does it just keep going until it hits magma? Sometimes I wonder if all those technologists have got their heads on straight, sing it. <laughs> I, think, I think you're overthinking it a little bit, buddy. Why don't you take this giant clam and just, you know, take it easy. <laughs> Enjoy that with your tea. A small silk hat. Another thing to sell. Thank you. Bye. Weird. He had a little scooter in the corner. I don't know if I ever noticed that before. We got a stick over here. Oh, look. We got an orange hyacinth, too. Two of them. Cool. Wasn't even trying. <laughs> Let's go see if Punchy's at home. And we'll stop by and try these lanterns out on the way. I think they're gonna look nice here. Oh, darn it. <laughs> I got too close. Oh, you know what? Punchy will be at home, won't he? Because in this game, they're always at home when someone asks you to deliver a gift, aren't they? Not like the olden days when you had to search all over your town. Well, you know what? You can't even see them back there. Hmm. I don't know. I might leave them there for a little bit and just see what I think. I'm gonna put one here too, since we have three. That one you can see. Can we push it back a little bit? Nope. Okay. All right. Well, I'm not 100% sure if I like those or not because I didn't realize that the other part of it was black. And I think that might be like too dark for in here. I'm probably going to end up taking those back out. We still haven't figured out what to do up here either. Don't look at it. We'll figure it out eventually. All right. Let's catch this fish while we're right here. Or, you know, it can do that. No, it turned around again. <laughs> Pondfish are the worst. What in the... How can I not... <laughs> How come I cannot get this in the right place? Do not turn... Do not turn around. <laughs> ah. Okay. It's just messing with me now. No, seriously. <laughs> I'm gonna catch you, fish. I'm determined now. You've made this into a game, and I'm gonna win. Stop moving! <laughs> oh my goodness. Do you guys have this trouble with pond fish? What in the world? <laughs> that was right in front of you, buddy. That was not right in front of you, buddy. All right, here. No, seriously, he moves right when I cast. <laughs> Is he gonna see it? No! Okay, here we go. Okay. Whew, if I had missed it after all that, I would have been so mad. <laughs> yes, we got a new fish for blathers. All right, and the second fish in our sea sports challenge. Let's go in and see Punchy. Punchy. I always forget what your house is looking like too. Hey, Carrie Lee, it's nice of you to visit. Sing it. Oh, you got that from Pajmina. A delivery for me? From Pajmina. I guess you guys were hanging out together. Huh? It's a present from Pajmina, but why? Oh, because of the other day. <laughs> I wonder what it is. Let me see. <gasps> no way. I can't believe it. A sturdy sewing box. Yeah, that seems right up your alley. Punchy. <laughs> I never think Pashmina understands me, but she gets me. She gets me. Oh, wow. Thanks for getting this to me. I'll go make up with Pashmina now. Hey, um, I want you to have this. Thanks. 
Ooh, what do we get? An ironing board! Thanks, Punchy. Your house is cute, dude, I have to say. Not a fan of the floor, but other than that, everything's cute. Okay, let's just take a looky here. Pajmina, Lucky. We still need to give a clam to Lucky. We can't give a clam to Midge. Otherwise, I think we've given clams to everyone. So why don't we... Oh, no. <laughs> There's another fish in the pond. Why don't we go pick out our bridge, is what I was going to say. Fish number three. It's a frog. Oh wait, no. Before we pick out our bridge, I guess we need to see what's going into that acre. Acre 10. Once we get acre 10 done, we'll be halfway done with our 20 acre project, which is super cool. Now, some of you guys that have been sharing your pictures in the Discord or a, um, a few, oh, lucky. A few of you have um, been doing it on your channels as well. You guys are way ahead of me. <laughs> I'm so slow. Um, but everybody's been doing an awesome job, and if you haven't jumped into the Discord to check it out, we have a channel. I think it's called a channel. Just for that, and you can go see what progress everybody's making. I think we just have to talk to Lucky three times to get him to stand up. Remember that thing you told me the other day, spaghetti, and how out of all foods that's your top pick? Is it still that way? Yep. We just got a recipe for it, too. Yay, I was chatting with Mary the other day, and I said, Did you know Wonderbud is real into spaghetti? I'm glad nothing's changed. You were talking about us, Lucky? Wait a minute, I thought... I thought talking to him three times makes them stand up. Maybe that's when they're, um, fishing. I can't keep this stuff straight. <laughs> Here, have a clam. Thanks, bruh. <laughs> a lunch service apron. Okay, thank you, Lucky. Well, no jockey uniforms today. That's too bad. We are going to start a new pile out here for blathers. We're not going to run in there again today. What am I, what am I doing? So many interruptions. Wonderbud, my dear, I think you're finally ready. It's time to teach you my signature reaction. It's one of the most powerful and important reactions there is, if I do say so myself. And it's perfect for those moments when you feel truly passionate about something. Here, let me show you. Oh, darling, look at that gorgeous purse. Something that stunning deserves to hang on my arm. You see, so next time you fall in love with a purse or a pair of shoes, show the world how you feel. Okay, guys. Love reaction. Francine is definitely up for Villager of the Week right now. <laughs> Be still, my beating heart. Okay, so Francine is one of our candidates. We have to <laughs> we have to figure out who else is in the running. Is there something else I missed today that somebody should be included? Um, let's see. We do need to sell a few of these things. I think we'll keep this ironing board, actually, but I do need to sell a few of those things. Wait a minute. Shouldn't we have more fish in our pockets right now? Oh, no. We, we caught the catfish, but we put it in front of the museum. Okay. I got, I got confused for a second there. I'm just going to place a few of these things out here. Oh wait, we can sell that frog to CJ, but we're going to drop this and we're going to drop this. I just want to keep our pockets as clear as possible, but like, I know it gets super annoying when I keep running into nooks, out of nooks, into nooks, out of nooks. So we're not going to do that. We're going to catch two more fish and then we're going to go find out what's happening in Acre 10. Like I keep saying and then we keep not doing. Oh, first bite. Woo, almost missed it. It's a sea bass too. <laughs> Okay, we just need one more. I wonder when we're gonna be able to get our house a spot. Where are all the fishes? Just need one more. Oh, Pajmina's singing. Okay, well, there we go. Pajmina is candidate number two. 
singing in front of the museum for everyone to hear. She's taking the advice of the lark. <laughs> singing all day long. A pleasant and cheerful song. Cool. Um, what are, okay. We'll go to the other side here, I guess. There's a fish. And then we have to remember where CJ was. Oh, I know where he was. Gotcha. Nice. Five in a row. Cool. Okay, before we go back and talk to CJ, though, let's talk about this acre. Acre 10 between Caroline and Hans. What's going in here? Let's look at our little charts. Just one second. Okie dokie here. So it looks like for acre 10, we have number 20 and M. So number 20 is Nooks. So the shop is going here. Interesting. Okay. Ooh, that's going to be fun trying to fit that in there. Okay. Nooks and M is what? Seasonal decor. Oh, very interesting. Okay. Well, hmm. That'll be fun. That's actually kind of pretty appropriate for Nooks because, you know, they're trying to keep up with the things and the seasons. So we know we need seven spaces wide for Nooks. So how many spaces is this wide? One, two, three, four, five, only six. So I don't think it's gonna fit on this corner unless we kind of scooch it into the next acre just a tad. But if we put it here, it's gonna be like, like right there. Cause literally it would have to fit on this corner <laughs> to fit in. I don't know how I feel about that. I think that's gonna be a little too close. Like, I mean, it's gonna be like right on the road. Which could be okay, but I actually, um, I don't think it would let us put a bridge in right next to that. So if we did do that, we might have to put the bridge up further and that wouldn't even make any sense, would it? Okay, let's look at our other option. We have another corner and I think this corner is a little bigger. So how many spaces wide is this one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight, nine, and ten, technically. So, okay, we could do that. We can work with that. And to be right inside the acre, it can be right on this corner. Should we put it right up against the river, do you think? How many spaces is this forward? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so if we put it right back in that corner, there'd be a couple spaces in front there to, you know, work with to give it a little entrance or we could put it a couple spaces over like start it right here in this corner in which case it would be one two three four five six it would end like right here next to Hans's tax booth um I don't know if I want it that close to that I feel like we should just put it straight in this corner right in the yeah, right at the back. Right up against the river. I think that'd be cool. I don't think I've ever put nooks right up against a river before, so you know what? First time for that. <laughs> There's been a lot of firsts on this island, and that'll be fun. But see, that's the fun thing about the 20-acre method is because, I mean, if we were terraforming, obviously we could change it up and do whatever we wanted, but because I'm not terraforming here, I'm working with what I got, and it's making it super interesting. Okay, and then acre 11 is gonna be right behind that. It's also gonna have river going through it, isn't it? Let's look at the map for a second. So that's acre 10. Yeah, acre 11 has a big old river going right through the middle of it too. Hmm. Okay, that's gonna be interesting. Let's talk to, uh, we could, uh, yeah, we need to talk to Tom Nook. We need to move the shop and we need a bridge. So if we're putting the shop over there, which bridge? You know what? I'm going to I'm going to wait on the bridge because I'm going to ask you guys which bridge we should put in. 
for nooks. And then we'll look at the locations again too. Because if we're putting nooks right up against that flat part of the river, we will have to put the bridge down front. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> uh, we want layout changes. Tom Nook. The shop. Oh, the shop. Moving that will cost 10,000 bells. Pocket change. <laughs> we got a ton of money right now. Of course, we're going to have to use it all in a few minutes to pay for a bridge. <laughs> But that's okay. So Tommy, what do you think about Carolee's suggestion to move the shop? Interesting that they brought Tommy in. I'm all for it. Carolee will find us a spot that'll make business boom. I'm sure of it. Okay, so. Is it always Tommy that comes in? Or do they alternate? I've never noticed. If it is always Tommy, then now we know. That he's the one that makes the decisions. <laughs> Well, Carolee, since the matter of moving is now settled, I'll take that construction fee. There you go. We will pick out a location and deploy. Is there anything good in here? Ooh, key holder and a cardboard box. Key holder? Where'd that come from? Okay. Um, should we check in and see if there's any... Man, we used all our Nook Miles <laughs> for tickets the other day. We're gonna have to work on building that up again. I just want to see if there's any seasonal items, since seasonal items is what we have to use to decorate nooks now. But no, and we've already bought some of it. Actually, I'm going to buy another cheese just because, you know. Can you really have too much cheese? <laughs> I think the answer is no. Unless, of course, you're lactose intolerant. Then maybe the answer is absolutely yes. Let's see here. Midge, what are you looking at? What is in that tree? Is there a spider up there? Does she have a magnifying glass? I can't tell. Oh, yep, she does. She's looking at something up in that tree. I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't want to know, especially if it's a spider. I'm out. Oh, we got to talk to CJ again, too. All right, let's go ahead and just see what Nooks is. Oh, let's pick up this fish, too, because we're going to want to sell that one. Let's just get this done, actually, and then we can mess with nooks. <laughs> What's up, Fishinista? Yes, we will sell them to you. Because none of these were new. Okay, it wasn't much. <laughs> But it's something. Okay, that just reminded me actually that we have one more little errand on our list today. Um, and that is to pay off our loan. Because, hello, what am I looking for? Oh yeah. In addition to all the items she was giving away, Nana A was also just handing out bells left and right too so we got some of those as well it just happens to be enough to pay off that loan all right let's just see what it would look like right here against the river i don't know i kind of like it i kind of like trying something different and you know the thing is it's movable if we end up hating it we can totally move it again let's just try it there Yay, okay, we're gonna see how that works out. Um, so we'll probably have some kind of path coming down here. And okay, so we have this path coming up right here. And we have that path coming in down here. <laughs> well, those aren't gonna meet up. All right, so we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna have to decide where we want that path to come in over here. So we did actually kind of jog this path down a little bit because of that rock. Oh, and it was just to meet the bridge that was already there, and we took that out. So we don't have to keep it in that spot. We could just make this go straight across, and if it went straight across, it would be on this spot, which almost matches up with that one. I suppose we could jog it up instead of down and have it so it does meet up with that one. The only thing then is like when you're running the beach, you're going to have to run all the way up here 
to cross the bridge, which I guess isn't that big of a deal. I don't know. Where do we want the bridge? <laughs> Maybe we'll just like center it in this area. How many spaces is this now? We're counting spaces today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because it's not gonna count that last space. So seven, the bridge is four wide, so it wouldn't center exactly. But if we had, so right now it's got three on that side. One, two, three. Wait a minute, did I count that right? One, two, three, four. That's how wide the bridge is. So we could put it just like right across right here. And then one, two, oh yeah, one, two, three, okay. So if we put it, <laughs> this is requiring too much thinking. Okay, this is coming across right here. So that would, not quite, it would have to be one space down from, um, from right at the top. Let me see what's with this path. It's just because it's in front of Hans's shop. It's behind because I wanted to leave room to run in front here, which we have got to decide on a path over here too. Oh, right. I changed one of them to this one. Huh. I don't know. <laughs> I still don't know. Well, that's for another day. Right now we have to decide about this bridge. So, okay, I'm thinking either the, f the flat one. What is it called? The wooden bridge? To go with nooks. To go with nooks. Either the flat bridge or like the zen bridge. The wooden zen bridge. I don't really want to do the brick. I don't really think the stone one would go over here. We definitely don't want a suspension bridge or a metal bridge. Okay, so it's gonna be between, I think between the wooden bridge. I guess we can go get it. We just don't have to put it down today or we can go look at them anyway. We'll go look at them because maybe I'm forgetting one. I know there's a red Zen bridge. <laughs> Let's talk infrastructure, Tom Nook. Bridges. Build a bridge. Pick one from our catalog. Okay, so log bridge, definitely not. Definitely not. Mm, I'm gonna say definitely not. We're either gonna go with this one, the wooden bridge. Yeah, or the Zen bridge. That's what I'm gonna say. So we're either going curved or flat. So you guys let me know which one you think would look best there. And we'll do it tomorrow. All right, let's just check our pockets one more time. Yeah, okay, I think that I think we've accomplished all our little errands whoop, for today. So we'll be able to get back to decorating some acres tomorrow or maybe we'll go do Caroline's house tomorrow. We're gonna do Caroline's house, some vacation home house sometime this week because we need to do that. Okay, so guys, the question is for the bridge, the flat one or the curved one and like, do you have a thoughts on where up through here it should go? Because we definitely can't fit it in here with nooks right up against the thing. Okay, well, that is gonna do it for today because we finished everything we needed to do. We got a bunny face on and yeah, we're feeling good about it. So thank you so much for joining me today. I do so much appreciate you being here. Please take a moment if you would and click the like button if you haven't already. And if you're having fun in this Animal Crossing series with us, go ahead and subscribe as well so you can be sure to join us for the next one. I'll see you there, friends. Have a beautiful day.